The Labour Party legal team bringing boxes of documents into the courtroom. They are expected to start where they stopped yesterday. Labour Party subpoenaed Channels TV to come and testify at the presidential election petition tribunal. Unfortunately, after all the back and forth between the respondents and the petitioners, the witness couldn't present his evidence. So hopefully the witness will play the video evidence in the courtroom today. And the court will also rule on the motions filed by the petitioners seeking to question INEC. As the judges enter the courtroom, Peter B is in court standing in for the petitioners. Livi Uzuku Esayen is leading the full house of the Labour Party's legal team. Pinhero Esayen is representing INEC. Tinubu and Shetima are represented by Olujimi Esayen. And APC is led by Bashoru Esayen. Now, the presiding judge is reading the motion filed by the petitioners seeking to serve interrogatories on INEC. The court's decision is expected shortly. Interrogatories are just ways the petitioners can question the respondents and wait for it. The judge just denied the application. His reason is that they didn't move the motion on time and that it is not the court that is supposed to remind them or go through their files to know when a motion should be moved because of the time limit. It was a unanimous decision by the judges. The motion was filed during the pre-hearing stage and the judge said that the court didn't rule on the motion at the pre-hearing stage that the petitioners should have reminded the court to rule on the motion and failure to do that, the court will deem it that they have abandoned the motion. The Labour Party made this application in order to make INEC answer 10 questions but they won't be answering those questions for now because according to the judge, it's a pre-hearing matter. It's something the court should handle during the pre-hearing, not during the hearing stage. This is just a procedural error or technicality if you like. Anyway, it doesn't matter. More analysis in another video. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, SAM. Now, let's move to the witness whose channel's TV ID card has now been tagged as exhibit by the court. Okutaba SAN seeks permission of the court. My lord, may I humbly apply that the evidence EPH3 be played now for all to see. The presiding judge gives him the go-ahead and he has one more thing to say. I apply that equal to SAN, who is more literate than me, help us to slot this evidence in. He is the head of the technical team. The screens have now been powered on and everyone will watch film now. <laughs> the party with the elephant. Yes, sir. On this note, let me once again reassure Nigerians that there is no going back on the deployment of the bimodal voter accreditation system EBAS for voter accreditation. There is no going back on the transmission of results on the INEC Result being important, real time on election day. This is the video as you have seen. The INEC chairman Mahmoud Yakubu reassured Nigerians that there is no going back on Bivas, that the presidential election results will be uploaded to IREF in real time. Real time means immediately after vote counting at the polling unit. And it must be uploaded at the polling unit. That's what the law says. If it is not done at the polling unit, it is invalid. The location of the upload is very, very important. While this video was playing, the LP Council made a request. My lord, that is all. Let's move to the next video. But the presiding judge just wants to watch film. Oh, he said no. Let's watch the full video. We want to see everything. For the first time, the INEC Council agrees with the Labour Party Council. My lord, let's not waste time. This is not a star witness and he cannot use 20 minutes for this testimony. But the presiding judge disagrees. No, I want to watch it and see everything and hear everything he said. Labour Party counsel goes for the mic again. My lord, please, you will give us time. No problem, said the presiding judge. Videos played will not be counted in your time. After the first video finished playing, they loaded the second one. I didn't say we have a plan B in case of uh, the failure of the IREF portal. Uh, we are confident that the, that the portal will not fail. Uh, but um, if we have any challenge whatsoever uh, relating to the uploading of cooling unit level results, uh, the, the, the ICT department uh, knows what to do so that we don't have the type of uh, challenge we had 
uploading polling unit level results uh, during the presidential and national assembly election. Yes, this one where Festus Okoye, an INEC commissioner, said that INEC technicians know what to do in case polling unit officers are unable to upload governorship election results to the IREV. Hmm. The next video is this one where Tinubu announced Shetima as his running mate. So today and uh, there be already an announcement to to replace him fully with a substantive, uh, you know, Kashim Shetima. This took place in Buhari's hometown, and the date of the statement was noted by the court. The Labour Party counsel told the court, "My lord, I'm done." The APC counsel is on his feet. No, we want to watch it. This video must finish playing to the end. Honorable Justice Bello agrees with him. Leonard counsel, you presented this flash drive in evidence, and so we must watch it to the end. The presiding judge asks an open question. What's the time now? The LP counsel responds, whatever my lord wishes. So despite the Supreme Court judgment on the double nomination of Shetima, P2B and the Labour Party have brought new evidence and P2B actually has local standby, unlike the PDP that took the case to the Supreme Court. Anyway, we've done a video on this, no need to stress this further. You can get that video in the video description. Now, let's hear the cross-examination of the Channel's TV witness. The INEC counsel was the first to go. Mr. Lucky witness. <laughs> You must be very lucky. I don't have any questions for you. Hmm. Tinubu's counsel goes for the mic. Witness, how are you? Fine, sir. Are you a reporter? Yes, I am. You said in paragraph 10 of your statement on oath that the cameraman of your company recorded this video. Yes, I did. So where is he? Is the cameraman alive? Yes, he is. And the people in the interview, Festus Okoye and the chairman of INEC, are still alive? Yes, at this time. Hmm, what a question. That will be all, my lord. Tinubu's counsel rounds up his cross-examination. The APC counsel stood up and literally repeated the same question, to which the witness responded accordingly. Why are they asking if they are alive? Were they expecting Labour Party to bring Mahmoud Yakubu and Festus Okoye to court? Anyway, at this point, the Labour Party Council makes a request from the court to continue tendering the boxes of evidence that they brought to court. The presiding judge reminds him, you have 15 minutes left. My lord, we will commence with tendering EC40G of Benue State. At this point, Tinubu's lawyer stands up. My lord, we were not served, and this can't be done like this. The presiding judge, after finding the schedule, told Tinubu's lawyer, Olu Jimmy, you were served. This is the evidence here. Please go on. While the Labour Party Council was calling out the local government areas, the presiding judge asked a curious question. What is the difference between EC40G and EC40G1? My lord, EC40G is for the ward, while EC40G1 is for the local government area. I'm just curious, muttered the presiding judge. Honorable Justice Ada wants to verify something. Is it six or seven local government areas? It is seven, replied the LP counsel. This is six, said the presiding judge. Apologies, my lord, six local government areas. In their usual manner, all respondents objected to the admissibility of the evidence in court. They didn't state their reasons for objecting. Rather, they said they will give the reasons in their final address. When he finished tendering the documents, the presiding judge admitted them and tagged them exhibits. From there, the Labour Party Council moved on to tender from EC40G1 for Ado local government area of Benue State, after which there was the usual chorus of objections from the respondents and the presiding judge subsequently admitted them in evidence and marked them exhibits. The Labour Party Council about to tender other documents but was cut short by the presiding judge who said, It's okay. We need to close and resume Tuesday. Tuesday, asked the surprised Labour Party Council. Yes, now, I be you want to come tomorrow. We will adjourn to Tuesday, 13th June 2023, and we will have your case in the morning. 
As the court pleases, the Labour Party Council replied, and the court was adjourned. Today's proceedings was very smooth and quick. Imagine if the videos were played yesterday, the Labour Party would have used today to tender all the documents and hopefully, by next week, call all the remaining witnesses. Anyway, see you on Tuesday for another coverage of the full transcript of the court hearing. Thanks for watching.